So once your frame is all filled in with color, your next step is to do the self-portrait. Instead of doing the portrait on the frame, we are gonna do it on paper. So you can use either your blank sheet of paper or the one with the oval template on it. Either one will work. If you use the oval one, you already have the shape on there that, sh that shows you how big to make your portrait. So you'll fill up that whole oval with your drawing. Um, if you wanna use the blank paper, that works too. Um, what I would suggest is laying your frame on top of it and then going and lifting it up a little bit and making some marks that are kind of on the edges of where all your colors are. That way you know about how big to make your portrait. So see here I have some little light marks and it gives me kind of an oval shape. It's about the same size as this oval, okay? But that just gives you kind of a guideline to know, okay, I need to make my drawing about that big, okay? Um, you also have another option. If you have a printer at home and you would rather, instead of drawing, if you would rather print out a photo of yourself, um, you can do that. Um, there are settings in your, probably in your photo, um, photo editing software, whatever you have on your computer, where you can change the photo to black and white. You might even be able to change it so it looks kind of like a sketch or a drawing. Um, you can do that if you'd like. If you do that, just make sure that you make the photo about this size so that it fits in the blank space and um, and make sure it prints there kind of in the center of your page. Okay, so if you want to print a photo instead, that's absolutely great. Um, you could print it in black and white and add some color to it. Colored pencils work really great for adding color to um, printed photos. So if you'd like to do that, that works too. Really take your time with it. You know, Frida painted lots and lots of self-portraits because she had to be laid in a bed for a lot of her life um, due to her injuries. Um, so I want you to think about how art, while you're drawing, I want you to think about how art might have helped her while she was dealing with a hard time. Um, think about how hard it would be to lay there alone in your bed for a long time. Remember she had that mirror up above her bed on the, in the canopy of her bed to help her draw. Um, so you can think about those things while you're drawing and think about, has there ever been a time when art has helped you when you were having a hard time? Um, I think that's one really wonderful thing about art is that it can help us, help us deal with some of our hard feelings. So. Take your time with this self-portrait part. Um, do your best work. I also wanted to mention, you know, Frida not only painted herself a lot, she also painted her friends and family. So if you feel like it, if you'd rather, and you wanna do a portrait of someone else, that would be cool too. Um, I got to thinking about that because I have a friend who's a big Frida Kahlo fan and her birthday's coming up. So I think I might do a portrait of her instead of me. Um, so if you wanna do this as a gift for someone, or a tribute to someone, that could be really neat too. So enjoy, take your time. If you wanna do part of it and then take a break and come back later or come back another day, that's cool. There's no time restraints here. Take your time. Um, I would suggest drawing with pencil first and then if you wanna go over it with marker or pen and then color, um, that works. And make sure you fill up most of this kind of oval blank space on your paper.